Welcome to Antiquationary, Attic's Visual Guide to Antiques. This is a Victorian hall bench, and I want to take a close-up look at it today because it has some interesting motifs on it. It's, it was probably made between 1840 and 1910, which is the period of American Gothic revival, and it has a really interesting element in the back. It's a beautifully carved, grotesque, an animal mask combined with plant motifs, and in this case it's a canthus, that end in scrolls or volutes. And this panel dominates the back of the bench. The other interesting part of it is a handhold or end of the bench, of the arm of the bench, that has a dog's head. Now very often you see lion's heads, but not often dog's heads. And this dog is growling because the sea scroll shows that his mouth is open. And again, the top of his head has an acanthus leaf where normally you'd have hair or mane. Um, down in the bottom, you also have the same motif carried through into the feet of the piece, which are dog's feet. Now, animal feet are fairly common in furniture, starting with the Egyptians. There's hooves or paws, pad feet, um, and very often you see also claw and ball feet, or the eagle's feet, on American furniture. And these are the dogs, but in the back, if you can see back there, they're playing, which means that this, um, whoever carved this didn't bother to put fancy feet in the back because those were going to be up against a wall and it had to uh, sit flat against the wall. The seat of this bench operates and the hinges are very nicely hidden along the back seam. In the front, there's a, another bit of very lovely carving that exposes the grain of the wood. It's called gouge work or nicking and it creates a kind of uh, even pattern along the front. So this is the Victorian Golden Oak Gothic Revival Hall Bench. And this has been Attic's Antiquationary.